One day, I was training martial arts when I heard a strange chat in the dojo. My girls will be grabbing with your board tonight, do you wanna come? Jeez, no thanks. How about you, new guy? Oh, pass. Are you boys afraid of ghosts, pussies? I'm not afraid of ghosts. Then prove it. So she took me to her house's backyard at night, and three other girls were waiting for us there. Gather in a circle, and let's begin. This is my coven, I'm a witch. I hope you're not afraid of witches. So we started playing the board, but the ghost answers were very shallow. I'm pretty sure it was just one of the girls trolling us. Later that night, I had a lucid dream, and the girl of my dreams showed up. I heard you trying to summon a creature today. Yeah, some new friends had a Ouija board. Ah, uh, you were exposed with no protection. Any creature could have found you. There were some protections. There were witches. Wanna be witches? I'll teach them a lesson about witchcraft. That sounds evil. Witchcraft is neither good nor evil. They tried to summon a ghost, so maybe they should meet one. They're just my friends. You can't harm them. I'm not gonna harm them. Good. They are gonna harm themselves. That's not good. <laughs> it's good to me. I think you're just being jealous. <laughs> I woke up and I was a bit concerned about what she could do to my new friends, so I had to warn them. Are you saying you're being hunted by a ghost? No, she's the girlfriend of my other self. I like her, but I think she's a bit jealous. Don't worry, we witches got a lot of protection. I even carry crystals with me. You should be the one careful about your ghost girlfriend. She would never harm me. That's why they all say, here, take one of my protection crystals with you. I made a protection spell on that one. On the next day, the witches called me to join their coven to do a ritual. What's that ritual for? It's to open our chakras. Chakras? Yeah, they're like vortices where energy flows into the body. Look at me! All my chakras are open! <sighs> My chakras, what did you do? I undid the illusion you created. But they look so cool! If you want the energy flowing through you, start with your heart and make it flow like a river through your whole body. Why the heart? In most other places, a stream that is too weak or too strong can make your mind and body out of balance. But the heart holds no limit. It is through the heart that humans can gather enough energy to do big miracles without consuming their body. How do I gather energy in the heart? What is the heart a symbol of? I woke up and wrote in my dream journal about the experience I had. Days later, my new friend invited me to her coven to prepare magic potions. What are those potions for? Love potions. You give to someone you like and the person will fall in love with you. And how do you know it works? I've received detailed instructions through a dream. A voice revealed it to me to help me bind my true love. You can't force someone to love you. We are witches. We use magic in our favor. The girl of my dreams once told me that to find a loved one is like cultivating a butterfly. It will always try to flee if you hold it by force. She told me that the key is to cultivate your own inner garden, so when the butterfly comes, it will choose to stay. Look boy, we're trying to teach you our ways, even though our coven had a rule against males. Your friend insisted to let us bring you in, so you either help us or we won't teach you magic. Pussy. How's the new friendship going? I won't be joining them anymore, but I'm sure you know that already. <laughs> They even had problems with myself being a boy. You were supposed to be born a girl in this life, but for some reason at the last minute you decided to be male. Why? I don't know. I asked your other self many times, but he never answered. You two were hiding something. I wish she was here. He would know what to do with those witches. There is nothing to be done. Leave them alone and let them learn with their own mistakes. They wanted to do love potions. Can you believe that? Magic cannot control love. True love is stronger than any spell. So their potion won't work? Oh, I gave them a real binding spell. But it can only bind those who don't love each other. Wait a second. Was that you? I told you they needed a lesson about witchcraft. How did you invade her dreams? She left a bridge with you that led me straight to her. A bridge? You mean the crystal? Uh-huh. So crystals do have magical powers. As much as any rock infused with energy. And magic potions are real. As much as they believe it to be. What else is real? We are.
days later, I was back to the dojo, but the girl was looking a bit upset. Is she mad at you? It's probably because I didn't help her to do a love potion. But magic cannot control love. Tell that to her. Let's Johnny, keep practicing. Uh, yeah, how I oh Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I talk about the day I tried to enter someone else's dreams. So make sure you like and subscribe to not miss my stories. And watch my previous videos to better understand what's going on. Also, if you like my videos, please help me promote them. Thanks for being nice. Bye!